In this video, I will install and configure two Cisco switches via VLAN access mode and external switch VLAN tagging to connect ESXi standard switches and allow ESXi virtual machines access to external networks. For this to work, we will configure switch interfaces in switch port access mode for virtual machines to connect. We will then create three VLANs, VLAN 10, 20 and 30 and configure trunk ports to connect switch 1 and switch 2 and allow traffic of multiple VLANs over a single link. I will also install and configure Cisco Router R1 to allow virtual machines on different VLANs to communicate with each other and also access to external network resources. Switch 2 will be configured with two VLANs, VLAN 20 and 30, and then configure interface port 3 slash 3 as trunk. At a user exec mode, type enable. At a privilege exec mode, type configure terminal. At global configuration mode, enter the name of the switch. It should be SW2 and not SW1. Specify a range of interfaces. INT space range space gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 dash 3. Enter switch port access VLAN 20. Switch port mode access. Negotiation auto. No shutdown. Then type exit and configure the rest of the ports as shown. Once finished with the interface configuration, type exit twice or end to enter into privilege mode and save the configuration by typing copy running config to start up config. Close switch to console and start switch 1. While booting up, 
connect a virtual machine to VLAN 20 access port and assign static IP address of 192.168.20.2 and a gateway of 192.168.20.1. You need to shut down and then restart for the new IP settings to, to take effect. Switch 1 will be configured with three VLANs, VLAN 10, 20, and 30, and then ports 3 slash 2 and 3 slash 3 will be configured as trunks.
once finished with the interface configuration, type exit twice or end to enter into privilege mode and save the configuration by typing copy running config to start up config. R1 will be configured as router on stick, a method for running multiple VLANs over a single connection in order to provide inter-VLAN routing. Interface 0 slash 1 will be divided into three sub-interfaces 0 slash 1.10, 1 1.20, 1 1.30, and each assigned with encapsulation DOT1Q for VLAN tagging. Each sub interface will also be assigned with IP addresses 192.168.10.1, 192.168.20.1, and 192.168.30.1 respectively, and will be used as default gateway for virtual machines. Once finished with the sub-interface configuration, enter end, save the configuration by copying routing config to startup config, and then verify routing configuration by typing show IP route. Connect a virtual machine to VLAN 10 access port and assign a static IP address of 192.168.10.2 and a gateway of 192.168.10.1. Click on stop and then start for the new IP settings to take effect.
stay tuned for my final video on this project.